All right, YouTube. Once again, we're now looking at the uh, the DR250 E. This is a 1993 model. Uh, this video is to remove this box. This is the CDI box. Um, this is basically the brains of a motorcycle. Um, for the most part, a lot of motorcycles have them, almost all of them. I don't know about the older ones. Um, I think some bikes are a little bit more simple. But once you start adding the, uh, a lot of extra things to bikes, the CDI box has got to be on it. That, uh, pretty much all bikes got them. Or at least all the bikes I've messed with. Maybe like mini bikes and some dirt bikes might not. But uh, for the most part, like the Suzuki JR50 right here does not have a CDI box on it. Um, but the, the GS500 does, the Goldwing, the dirt bikes, all that has. Even, I think even the Odyssey has some sort of a CDI box. But uh, let's go ahead and see about taking it off. Um, it's got these two little rubber, actually it's in, in some sort of a rubber case it looks like. It's got a little finger hanging over the frame here to hold it in place. One on this side to hold it into place. Um, it's got this little rubber boot going over the, um, the tab on the frame. So we'll pull that up. Alright. And then it just pulls out of place. I wasn't sure if it was bolted in or not. Um, this one does work because this bike was running. Uh, actually, it might even start with the tank off. Uh, maybe not. It doesn't, probably doesn't have any gas in it. But anyway, I got other videos of it running. All right, so we're gonna pull it out here, get to the wire harness. I'll probably take my gloves off for this one so I don't break anything. Looks like a lot of wires. So you just gotta disconnect all of them. One thing I've learned going with the wire harness, a lot of the brown wires are for lights. Last one. So let's go over here and look look at a little bit closer view of it with some light. All right. So it's got this cover on it. We'll pull the cover off. Actually, look at the box. So here's the rubber boot. The rubber boot measures about three and a half inches by almost three here's what the box looks like it's a little dirty but clean it up see 15 d 0 f 8 t 310713818 those are the numbers on it these are what the plugs look like we've got two single plugs here uh, a brown one and a white one and that's in the same little uh, wire cover with this black plug here that's got a, it looks like a, a yellow, solid yellow, a uh, like a turquoise green, or it might just be a regular green, but I'm almost colorblind. There's a solid blue, so, so gray, blue, green, yellow, and I, I might be off on that a little bit, but that's what it looks like to me. And then the other plug has got two big plugs. Um, this one's got three wires going to it. Hopefully y'all can see this. The, um, three, three wires, black and yellow, or black with a yellow stripe, white with a blue stripe, then a black with a white stripe. Then this big plug here has one, two, three, like five wires. We've got a green with a red stripe, blue with a red stripe, blue with a black stripe, white with a red stripe, green, looks like a yellow stripe. That could be white, but it looks like yellow. 
Well, those are all the wires. So let's see, we got five, eight, ten. Wait a minute. Five, eight, ten, fourteen. Looks like about fourteen wires coming out of it. But here's the CDI box. Uh, just over three and a half. Mm, almost two and three quarters. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.